It's about to make an emergency call. Then. We're experiencing some turbulence at the moment. <laughs> So at the moment we're on the road from Georgetown. Georgetown, yes. From George, I'm trying to picture because they've got the name of their town on this big hill in white riding, like Hollywood sign. From Georgetown to to Foresight on the way to Cobalt Gorge and it's a little bit bumpy in some stretches of gravel road. It kind of goes into gravel road and then onto bitumen and then it goes back to gravel and yeah but beautiful day beautiful day beautiful landscapes changing all the time it's like we're driving into different countries this is like the proper australian i love it So we were in Forsyth now, we just went into the shop and we just had a few little things, those, uh, oh there's a fly in here, there's a fly. Um, they've slid from behind the table and the cushions have fallen down, tea towels fallen down, tissues fallen down, that latch has come out of there. And we've, oh, my cupboard's opened. <laughs> and the speaker has come out. And where is the speaker is the question. Uh, there. Been, uh, hopefully it's not all bent and busted out. Mm, well, that's all though. Yeah, it could have been worse. Yeah, all my clothes out. All right, so we're deflating the tires a bit. What, what are you coming down to on the ram? We're just gonna drop it from 40 down to 30. And then the van will drop it from 50 down to 40 for each tire. Yeah. Yeah, just take out, take out some of those bumps a bit. After seeing the damage that just those few stretches of gravel did to the inside of the van, well, I've taped the fridge out. We've taken the second TV that's never been off its bracket, off its bracket, and just done a few extra precautionary things in the van. And now because it's another 40 k's to Cobalt Gorge on gravel roads, we're just um, deflating the tyres to take the extra pressure off and to just make them cope a little bit better and hopefully less movement in the van and for us in our seats too. Bolt Gorge and we're going on our tour today. Yep, this one's been a long time coming. It's gonna be like definitely one of the highlights of this trip, I have a feeling. Like from the photos we've seen, it looks really, really good. Yeah, so the tour, we get on some buses, oh, I can see them. And you get a bit of a walking tour around the gorge and a boat tour as well, which will be pretty cool. So we're all sunscreened up and um, ready to hit the road and have a bit of an adventure today. It's a three hour tour, goes from 10 to 1. So we've got some snacks and water. Yeah, we're well prepared and the way the sun's come out, it's in the 30s at the moment out here. Yep. Yesterday it got to 34 apparently. Yeah, so 34 degrees. So today I reckon it should be at least 32, so perfect weather for it. There's our rides.
Okay, so that's the tour all done and dusted. We've just been back, had lunch, got changed, and it's time to go down to the swimming pool. Got cool off. It's another 32 degree day and you wouldn't want to be going out on these tours now. You can see all the afternoon tour people getting ready to go. Yeah, nice pool with a swim up bar overlooking the, the river. Should be awesome. facilities and the gorge itself is amazing <laughs> so I'm probably saying funny because we're going over lots of bumps now mm. but yeah really good so what we didn't realize was um, you do need to pre-book tours if you want to go and see the gorge there are actually some people that booked their campsite out here didn't book a tour and have missed out going to the gorge we previously thought that you know, you camp and then you just drive to the gorge when you want, want and do some walks and things like you would at National Park. But it's it's not like that. Um, if you want to see the gorge, you have to book on a tour. It's a restricted area otherwise. So we, we were kind of just going to treat ourselves to that experience so we could go on the boat through the gorge and do a walking tour. Um, just instead of just walking ourselves and we're glad we did otherwise we wouldn't be it would have been it. really disappointing like those other people have driven out here it's a long it's a hard drive out here on dirt track and a long track to get there mm. and to get all that way to be told you can't actually see the gorge would be just so disappointing 
I mean, luckily the park itself is just beautiful. It's a really nice place to stay yeah. anyway. It's but. a really unique, nice place because just yeah. along this drive, like, there's nothing. There's no water There's at nothing all. else here, no. Um, this is actually a huge 500 miles, square miles of a cattle station that has been split into three cattle stations now. And, yeah, they just go on forever. Uh, the nearest town is 40 minutes away, Forsyth, which is where we stopped yesterday. Yeah, cute um, little town, not much yeah. there, little shop. and We, we and showed you that yesterday, yeah. the other day anyway. Um, and yeah, there's, there's like nothing around. And so just to have that gorge there is amazing. But yeah, like Dan was saying, the campsite's amazing. We spent a good three hours at the pool yesterday, didn't we? Yeah, really nice. It's like, almost like an infinity pool, isn't it? Yeah. You, just, you look out over a lake, there's people kayaking over there in the lake. And yeah, you just, you just lounge in the pool. You can swim up bar and there's some up there, so you can just get yourself a drink. And then just chill out in the sun. It's, yeah, really, really nice. It is a true oasis out in this area. Our car just went past, so we've got dust <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. We've got our sushi made for our sushi lunch today. Because it's a long drive, so yes. it's nice to have that, not have to worry about making anything will stop, stop and around lunchtime. And you don't have to heat, heat stuff up either. You just grab, grab and eat yep. and carry on. Too dumb. Too dumb. So it's working off the battery? Yeah. Very good thinking, darling. Yeah, I've been doing a little bit and then checking the battery voltage in a little bit because I'm really worried about it depleting the battery, especially if we're going into unpowered. Oh. <laughs> but uh, we'll have enough driving power for it to charge back yeah, up. Yeah, exactly. Driving time. Yeah, and it doesn't seem to be using that much anyway, so it'll be fine. Can it get any dirtier? Oh, it's caked in the mud. <laughs> Like every time I put the compressor on here, there's bits of air that comes out and it blows all this dust and big dust mm. in my face. <laughs> all right, well, we're in Georgetown. We're going to leave it there for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll be next time coming to you from Charters Towers and beyond. See you later. Uh, I'm standing still <laughs> on my weren't, bike. Weren't even moving. <laughs> <laughs>